I sense a plot to destroy the Jedi. Welcome to A Conspiracy in the Force, the show where we examine parallel conspiracies in a galaxy far, far away, in a galaxy not so far away. The show is designed as an introduction to modern day conspiracy theories by using Star Wars, one of the most beloved fictional universes, as a point of reference. Let's begin. Hey, Conspiracy Kyle here. If you like this podcast, please rate, review, and subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. It helps the podcast immensely and to be truly appreciated. Also, please share on social media. You can also find my YouTube channel at Conspiracy Kyle. I've been posting some audio-only versions of these podcasts, and I'll be posting more video content in the future as well. On to the show. This episode is titled, The Dark Side Nexus. One of the most memorable scenes from The Empire Strikes Back is the scene where Luke enters the dark side cave on Dagobah. This occurs during the end of one of his daily training sessions with Yoda. Yoda has just given Luke a debriefing about what the dark side is and how he can sense it and how he can overcome it. He then says, quote, nothing more will I teach you today. Clear your mind of questions. Unquote. Luke then stops to take a breath after the hard day of training, and he senses something nearby, something not right. Just beyond his gaze lies a cave, a dark cave. Yoda calls it a domain of evil, a place strong with the dark side. Luke enters the cave and finds his way through the darkness. It is crawling with bugs and snakes and spiders, but mostly darkness. All of a sudden he hears the terrifying breathing of Darth Vader. Per the novelization of the film, this is a sound he knew even though he had never encountered Vader before. Luke draws his lightsaber and attacks the dark figure. A few strikes later and Luke decapitates him. As the dark helmet of Darth Vader rolls towards Luke, the faceplate melts off to reveal the face of Luke himself. This cave was all a trick of some sort, an illusion. The novelization states, quote, when talking about Luke, he wondered if he were really fighting darkness himself or if he had fallen prey to the temptations of the dark side of the force. He might himself have become a figure as evil as Darth Vader. And he wondered if there might be even some darker meaning beyond this unsettling vision." Unquote. The place Luke had visited this dark side cave is what is commonly referred to as a dark side nexus. Per Wikipedia, the Star Wars version of Wikipedia, <clears throat> which surprisingly is somehow more trustworthy than Wikipedia, even though it deals with a fictional universe, <clears throat> but I digress. A dark side nexus or a force nexus is a term to refer to any location where the force or any particular aspect of the force was unusually strong. Although it's technically not part of the Disney official Star Wars history anymore, 
which I could personally care less about. There was a story told in a comic book about the origin of this cave and why it is rooted in such a dark side energy. In the Star Wars Tales comic series, the issue titled Heart of Darkness lays out the story of a member of Yoda's species named, <clears throat> no, not Baby Yoda, but he was named Minch. Minch was a Jedi who lived hundreds of years before the Star Wars prequel trilogy. Minch in this comic had been tracking and chasing down one of the most powerful Sith Lords of the time, and he was finally able to corner him in the cave on Dagobah. In the cave, this Dark Lord used his dark side abilities to grow in size and then shrink in size to hundreds of miniature versions of himself as an illusion to frighten Minch. However, Minch was able to see through the illusion and strike him down. The Dark Lord died in the cave after casting on this dark side energy, and his blood and very essence seeped into the ground and the walls of the cave. Therefore, anyone who entered the cave could be subjected to dark side illusions and hallucinations. Interestingly enough, it is believed that Yoda chose Dagobah as his place of exile because of this dark side cave. It's theorized that the dark side energy emitting from the cave would somehow shield Yoda from the Emperor's grasp, as the Emperor wouldn't be able to sense Yoda's light side essence through this dark side essence. Honestly, the mechanics of how all this works is a mystery to me, but the dark side energy seemed to work for Yoda's purpose, as he remained hidden long enough to train Luke Skywalker before he passed away peacefully. Another dark side nexus that is present in Star Wars is the site of the Jedi Temple on the capital planet of Coruscant. In the prequel era, this is the home to the Jedi Knights, the guardians of peace and justice in the Galactic Republic. However, this location was not always so full of light. Per the official Star Wars website in an article from 2015 titled Hidden Knowledge, Five Fascinating Facts About the Jedi Temple, it stated that, quote, the original temple was constructed over an ancient Sith shrine, which itself was built upon a very powerful force nexus known as the Sacred Spire. In the recent Disney-approved novel called Tarkin, which is about Grand Admiral Tarkin, who died on the first Death Star, author James Lucino wrote about how the Jedi attempted to seal or cover up the dark side nature of the Sith location by building the Jedi Temple directly on top of it. In an interview, Lucino opened up about his motivation for adding in this story element, referencing Cortez and the ancient Aztecs in our world. Quote, This has happened time and time again in history. Let's take an example. Cortez comes over with his army. He lays waste to the Aztec city of Tenochtitlan, and one of the first things they do is raise the Aztec temples and they build churches. There's a certain thinking in Mexico that the strength of those temples is not entirely occluded by the churches that have been put on top of them. I thought, well, that's an interesting analogy for what's going on here. The Jedi tried to cap the power of the shrine, but there's leakage. It's not just Sidious, it's the power of history. It's the residue of what's left on the dark side there." Unquote. Going back to my previous episode on the fog of war, in this quote by Lucino, it seems he is hinting at the reason that the Jedi were unable to uncover Palpatine's plot in the prequel trilogy. It's possible they were being clouded by the dark side, both metaphorically and physically, based on the location of the temple itself. It's quite possible that similar to the dark side cave on Dagobah affecting future inhabitants, the temple's prior Sith history was affecting the Jedi leaders as well. And also, as Lucino mentions in our world, you see this kind of thing happening time and time again throughout history. In Cusco, Peru, in the 1500s, 
Several large Catholic churches and cathedrals were built over the top of destroyed Incan temples, one of them being called Corcancha, or the Temple of the Sun. Check out the documentary True Legends, The Unholy Sea for more details on this. The Catholic Church was in essence attempting to erase the Incan religion in their rituals, in their history, that were part of it. They believed that they were covering up their version of a dark side nexus, a pagan religion that was in direct conflict to the Catholic Church's objectives and teachings. It was also believed that St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City was built on top of the place where St. Peter was crucified by the Romans. A violent act of persecution, now covered up by all the majesty and lavish artistry of the Catholic Church. In modern culture, we have movies like Poltergeist, where a house is built on top of an ancient graveyard, which goes to show that the past can come back to haunt you if you attempt to cover it up. In closing, it's important to remember that you cannot erase history just because it conflicts with your beliefs. The past, all aspects of the past, need to be remembered and understood so we can learn from them. We're seeing a destroying of our past in our world over the past year, one way being the destruction of statues that represent things that people don't believe in anymore. True, we should not be worshiping slave owners, and we should have a basic understanding that all political leaders who have statues built of them had flaws, some major flaws and some minor flaws. But we need to have discussions about all those things, not just destroy their images. In Star Wars, Yoda didn't attempt to destroy the Dark Side Cave, quite the opposite. He used it as a learning tool for future Jedi. He made them confront their own fears and confront their own darkness, because that is the only way to become what he wanted them to become, strong Jedi Knights. The Jedi in the prequels in the Catholic Church in our world want the past destroyed. But in doing so, they were becoming corrupt and pagan-like, the very essence of what they attempted to destroy. Remember the past. Because, as the novel 1984 states, who controls the past controls the future. And as the popular saying goes, if you don't learn from the past, you're doomed to repeat it. May the Force be with you.